Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome to my channel. So following Mafex's Miles Morales Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse figure, we've now got Peter B. Parker as well. So let's get right into it with the packaging and then we'll go into the figure. So with the packaging is very similar to the Miles one before it with a big window display showing you the figure itself and then a whole bunch of optional parts that this guy comes with. So you can see quite a lot of different hands, slice of pizza, coffee mug, alternate face, very important as well. So generally, otherwise it's pretty similar to the Miles one. But now for Peter Parker, onto the side, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and a picture of Spider-Man without the coat on. On the back, you've got a couple of pictures of the actual figure itself. So again, better shot of some optional parts. So he gets different feet as well. Miles also came with some different feet, so magnetic feet. He came with, I'm not sure if this guy's are magnetic. Maybe these ones are, but we'll take a look once we open it. Onto the side, another look of the figure wearing his PJs, eating a slice of pizza. On the top is just a logo like so. On the bottom is just some manufacturer details and here's a closer look at the figure out of the box and you can see it comes with quite a few different option hand parts among other things as well so we'll go through that then we'll go into the figure so the stand that he comes with is pretty basic is pretty much what miles morales came with as well so you get the base the shaft and then the claw piece right here it's nothing special but at least they provide it then onto the hands so the two that are attached on him are actually the relaxed hands and of course he comes with fists among a whole bunch of other hands uh, the costume overall including the hands are textured this time so they have this kind of dotted texture similar to what miles had uh, the into the spider verse miles unlike say the standard spider-man which was smooth to the touch the comic book spider-man i mean and also with the hands that i feel some of the hands are slightly different in color between the left and the right uh, and you may not notice this so much in the video but i'll try and call it out when i do uh, come across these hands so these ones are actually okay so these are his you know, narrow wall crawling hands so again they're textured it's these hands here that the next one i'm going to pick up so his right hand for the wider wall, wall crawling hands is a little bit more red brighter than the one on the left it's going to be hard to kind of make out but it might just be because of the wash i'm not really sure on that but it's not the only hand set of hands that has that issue but you know it's really really minor then you get a magnetized version of that hand as well so similar to what most other Spider-Man figures come with, I guess. You get the thrip, thrip hands, very important. Sandwich these between the web attachments, option parts, to have him strike, uh, shoot out some webs. Then you get pizza holding hands. So he gets two of these. I thought it'd actually only be one. He comes with so many hands that it's actually quite overwhelming that I missed a couple of things on the first time around. So pizza holding hands, I'll actually show you that right now with the pizza slice. So you've got the pizza slice right here. And then here's the underside. And then, yeah, just tuck it in and enjoy so you can do that with the other hand as well then he comes with another pair of hands which has a little peg in the palm and that's to actually hold on to the mask over here so the loose mask similar to what miles had there's a slight hole there you can just kind of plug that in very tiny so hopefully i can get that and there we go holds on to the mask so he comes with a pair of hands for that sometimes it's just one hand so interesting that they're given a pair for both the pizza holding and that mask hand then he comes with this pair of, not even a pair but single hand for the coffee cup be careful when you do attach this because mine is actually coming off at the uh, handle there if i kind of bend it slightly it's very slight that minute, you can see the crack and this is because when you put it on naturally you're probably going to hold it at the mug point itself and then try and enter it or put it onto the wrist joint don't do that because that's how mine's happened so pinch it at the actual hand itself like this if you've got big hands or big fingers it's going to be a struggle to be quite honest but just try your best and be careful with it just go slow with it because yeah you might end up actually completely ruining that luckily for me it's okay but just very be very very careful with this hand then his final pair of hands is to hold on to a line of webbing so the thumbs up as well so you can use it for multi-purpose thumbs up or just hold the line of webbing i'll show you that right now with one of his lines of webbings here so it's for this hand in particular so same as all the other spider-man figures that have come out in the past whether it's muffex or even sh figure arts you just slide this little bit through to the end of the hand and then he's holding onto a web line onto the heads then so he comes with a half masked or half unmasked whichever way you want to call it of the peter parker face now Sculpt is pretty good in this, and I like the uh, shadow that's going on uh, with his facial hair. That looks pretty nice as well. Generally, pretty good head. The mask is nicely sculpted as well. The eyes and everything. 
So again, it's got that same textured costume, even with this head. So you can swap that off pretty easily with the neck that's already attached to it by default. Then yes, you can swap with a regular Spider-Man masked head with the neck as well. It's pretty easy to do. One thing with the necks though, with this figure in particular, is I can never really figure out which side is supposed to be the front part of the neck. Sometimes they usually sculpt the um, Adam's apple a bit more prominent and you can usually tell, but nowadays, I, well, this figure, it was pretty tricky to tell, even with the plain neck as well. So yeah, I mean, most of the time it looks fine. It doesn't really matter what you're going to do and you probably won't see it once you've got it posed, but it's a bit, yeah. I don't know, just something that was on my mind. But this sculpt is pretty good. This head sculpt is pretty good. I like the eyes that are going on here. You can't change the eyes on this, sadly, but they do give you narrow eyes as a head alternative swap. This is actually something that I completely forgot about as I was messing around with this figure. Because uh, once again, he comes with so much stuff that I, I was missing a couple of things, um, overlooking some things. So this was one of the heads that I overlooked completely. So it's good that they actually gave you an alternate head with narrow eyes. So you can actually get slightly different kind of expressions going on. Just the two, but it's still decent. So yeah, looks good. It looks good. Then onto his feet. So he comes with a pair of bare feet. So if you want to use or swap the trainers and the boot out, then you can yeah swap to his bare feet. And there is a scene in the movie where he is in barefoot mode. So you got these as well. And then he comes with magnet magnetized versions of the Spider-Man costume feet. Pretty much standard for Spider-Man outfits these days. These are the same as what's on his legs. So his leg attachments are completely separate. But beneath the pants are his bare flesh tone. So you've got to swap the cuffs out completely with the feet. So you can swap the feet out for the magnetized versions if you want to. But these are a look at the uh, extra pair of legs. Just so you know, the right version of each leg it is noted inside. You've got an R marking for the right leg. The left one doesn't actually have any marking. It just kind of has a blob inside. You can definitely identify it with the R. Same thing with the flesh one, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Finally, then onto his web part. So I've already showed you the long web line. Then he comes with a pair of short web shot lines, like so. You just got to sandwich this in between his wrist and the hand that you want to use. Very similar to what's been done before. Comes with a longer version of those same web shots. And then, yeah, this is the last pair. So you get a pair of each web line. So moving on to the figure, I'll talk about him with his clothes on and then I'll undress him and talk about him in even more detail, like articulation and things like that. So in terms of clothing, yeah, this guy uses fabric for his jacket and his pants, similar to what Miles had before with his jacket and his pair of shorts. So if you don't like fabric, then this is not going to do anything for you. I don't mind it personally, but I know some people don't like it. So this guy does have wires going through parts of his jacket. So he's got wire going down here and here for the front of his jacket around the collar as well and then on the back side down on the left side here and the right side here so with the wires you can kind of pinch them up or scrunch them so say he's jumping for example some people don't like it though they just want a sculpted jacket up to them i like it so it's okay with the pants they are stretchy material so actually even with these on you can get them into a decent squat kind of position like so so it's pretty good actually so it's convenient. Again, I don't mind it. Uh, just be careful because I guess over time you might stretch it too much and then the seams might split or something like that. So you don't want that to happen. The inside of the jacket is not really that elegant looking. Same again with Mars Morales. Could be a little bit better. It's not awful, but it's not the prettiest looking either. In general, with the jacket on and with his pants, I think he looks pretty good. Of course, you've got the uh, one single boot on his right foot and then the sneaker on his left foot neither of which have a toe hinge which is a bit disappointing I, I do think he should have had a toe hinge on these just because it makes the squatting position a little bit easier to kind of keep otherwise balancing that is a bit awkward but it's a minor thing really really minor thing at least he's got the toe hinge on the actual costumed feet but otherwise yeah in this kind of get up the bum get up so peter bum parker i think he looks fine in this way and then you can swap this head out with the mask head if you wanted to do that too he doesn't come with plain hands. That would have been pretty interesting to have, but it's okay. They're giving him so many other hands anyway. So let's undress him. So to do that, you want to take the hands off first. Just makes it a little bit easier. We'll take off the feet as well, just because we're going to get to the uh, pants later on. That's pretty easy. How You saw how easy that was to take off. So the pants, just pull, peel them down like so. And yeah, you're going to get the skin tone or flesh tone for his calf right there. And that's what you need to swap out. 
and then for the jacket just kind of pull his arms back a bit and then hopefully it should be very easy to slide off just do the reverse to get them back on I didn't find it very difficult to put both the jacket or the pants back on so this is what he looks like once the clothes are removed and then the hands off we'll put the hand back on as well just to show you how that looks so it doesn't look a bit weird put the hand on there and then put the other hand on like so we'll put the sneakers on as well why not let's just do that and then the weird look but let's just carry on so taking a closer look at the figure itself so again this is a textured look that i mentioned a couple of times early on so it's a similar texture that this mars morales has going on with his suit as well so you may not like this i don't mind it i think it's a decent unique kind of look for this one and it lends itself well to the whole into the spider-verse movie itself anyway so it looks okay i like the kind of design stuff that they've taken from the movie as well so you've got extra lines going on across the edge of the red bits of the suit which is true to how that is in the movie as well so that's pretty cool generally yeah he looks pretty solid i mean ignore the inconsistency there but that's just normal you're going to swap that out later good logo on the front with the spider and then yeah also good on the back too you might also notice that he's a bit shiny at times and this can be a bit of a problem uh, when it comes to swapping these out hopefully it won't be once i do that later there is one thing i also want to talk about and it'll be more clear later on but the blues on his say thighs and then around the hair on his torso is a little bit different to the blue around the arms it's less shiny for, for sure, but the blue here is much more deeper. These are a bit more kind of like washed out looking. It's, I don't know if that's going to be on everyone's figure or if it's just mine, but it is something I noticed, not just with the arms, but also the legs as well. The blues are definitely washed out on the extra limbs or the limbs in themselves versus, say, the thigh and the torso. Very weird. I don't really know why that is. Let's talk about articulation. So his head can move up. This is going to be the same with the masthead as well so i'm not going to show you that again side to side twisting as well that's pretty good with the head then with the arm it's typical mafix style so if you've got any of the mafix kind of spider-man or even batman or other dc superheroes etc pretty standard joints for that so you can move that forward elbow there just skipped over the bicep cut there and then the hand that came off quite easily which can happen with some of the mafix stuff up and down and then twist what I do want to talk about, some QC issues. So my figure is not perfect. It does happen, I know, with some people. So the joint at the elbow on his right arm just cut, comes off way too easily like that. It's super annoying. It is super, super annoying. You know, I can get it back in just as easily. But when you're trying to pose him and, yeah, you see what I'm saying? So I'm trying to pull his arm forward. Uh, it's very annoying. Hopefully, I really hope that does not happen to a lot of people out there because that's just very, very annoying. And I know it has happened with previous Muffet figures with some people. Um, similarly, with that annoyance, I have another annoyance right here at the elbow. So when I bend his elbow, so if I bend it like this, and then say I was twisting it one, one way, this way, there we go. So I bend his elbow, and then I've kind of, say, moving it this way. Let's try that again. So I've got to put this back in here. But this is going to be annoying, and because I'm going to be doing this a couple of times, it's going to only inevitably make it worse so i've put it back in looks fine right so then what's going to happen so again I bend the elbow and then let's say i move it like that eventually it just kind of comes off you can see right there there's a gap inside hopefully you can see that so it's already coming loose i can just force it a little bit and it just comes off it's super super annoying and it's currently and i hope it only stays like this for his right arm but yeah it's currently only on his right arm both here in the shoulder and his elbow. Very annoying. That said, I have a similar issue with this joint uh, problem with the original comic Spider-Man as well, but it kind of comes off at the top part here, bottom of the bicep, rather than at the the uh, forearm, you could say. It's, like I said, a very annoying situation, and I hope it doesn't happen. Leave a comment below if it does happen to yours, because I just think my fix need to fix that sort of thing happening. It's not, not cool. Not really cool, especially given these prices are going up and up each time, I feel. Uh, but let's carry on with the rest of the articulation. So you can move forward a little bit like so. Backwards. Then tilt, twist, lower twist, and tilt as well. The legs do pull down. And then up. And you've got a bit of twisting here. 
and then the bend at the knee and then the feet like so that's come up quite easily there it's limited for the boot actually kind of see it can't move back too much with the actual costume feet the spider-man costume feet come up again easily the costume feet you'll get similar sort of thing as with the sneakers plus you get the toe hinge which i'll show you right there of course you get the pivot to skip over that that's his articulation it's the same as most other spider-man figures uh, from Mafex, so it's nothing too new, but yeah, like I said, I hope they kind of do a bit of tweaking on these joints and fix whatever the heck is going on there because that's quite annoying. Let me just take off this bit again because it's quite easy. You can see it looks kind of grimy inside. Hopefully, you can see that kind of grimy inside. I, I, I might have to just put a little bit of piece of paper in there or some cotton wool and then give it a little bit of frictional stability. It'd be a temporary job but it's better than it constantly coming out. Once you get it posed, it shouldn't you know, cause any issues, but it's, as you're posing it, it's gonna be very annoying. You see, I'm not even really doing anything with this elbow, uh, this uh, shoulder, and it just comes out. It's very annoying, very, very annoying. Um, let me know again if this, if this is happening with you guys down below. So let's swap out the head, and then we'll swap out the legs as well later. The, le the head is pretty easy to do, thankfully. Sometimes the neck, swapping those out can be pretty annoying or tricky, but for this figure, it's been pretty smooth. Grab the other head and click that in place. So we're getting to a full costume very, very shortly. It looks pretty good, actually, so far. With the legs, then you just got to pull here. What I would suggest you do is squeeze it right here where the, the articulation point is right here at the top bit, and then just pull straight. Don't try to be clever or try to be, I don't know, risky or in, in whatever way you want to try to do it because you might end up just wrecking it even more. As you can see, that's probably something that might replicate itself down on the knees. Hopefully no issues with you guys. So we'll start with the right leg, make sure we've got the right one, uh, which is this one, yes. And then just plug that in. It might be a little bit tricky. Just work it and it should hopefully slide in. Same then for the left leg like so make sure it's snug so it seems okay and there we go we've got a full costume of spider-man now and it looks pretty good now straight away the musculature on this guy is very non-existent for the most part just based on the movie it's pretty lean his legs are pretty lean he's got a little bit of you know, pec muscles going on but again compared to say the comic version of spider-man there's not much muscle tone going on that's okay it's a different type of look so it's okay it looks good overall I want to point out then the color differences so you can hopefully see the blue on the thigh and then the chest or torso area versus the legs here on his calves and then even on his biceps they're just a different shade of blue might be a thing that over time that it will sort of change color because i feel like my comic version my face has changed color this might be the same kind of dealio i have no idea but it's a very slight different shade of blue but once you got him costumed up like this he looks pretty good i was you know i was actually kind of not convinced in the pictures of the full spider-man get up i just didn't really like the way he kind of looked but having him in hand he looks a lot better and playing around with him you know it's good barring those issues but yeah he looks good as you can see and let's just kind of swap this head again with the unmasked one see that was quite easy to do when it's easy to do but it doesn't cause issues that's something i don't mind it's when it's so easy to do that you know it's kind of faulty or there's a QC issue. Like, yeah, it's then it's a problem. But with a half mask head, pretty good. You can see right there. And then let's swap out a hand. I'm gonna do the right arm as a risk, but hopefully nothing goes wrong. Let's swap that out with, this is a magnetized uh, hand. So there's so many hands there, trying to find it is a bit tricky suddenly actually let's do the pizza one and because it's already in his left hand let's just swap it with his left hand the pizza hand just kind of swap it in very simple to do very straightforward sometimes these hands do loosen up over time uh, that's just par for the course with a lot of figures he's got a pizza hand right here enjoying a slice of pizza we'll leave that hand off for now but otherwise yeah that's pretty much how you're gonna swap these hands Okay, let's do the uh, web shooting hand. That was something that I always like to show. So grabbing his web shooting hand again from a whole bunch of optional parts that are just kind of everywhere at this point. All you got to do is you get the circle ring bit there and hopefully just sandwich it and work it gently so you don't snap anything, especially his fingers that are extended. 
I'm going to do it very roughly so I don't get the arm falling off. And then position, and there you go, you got web shooting, Spider-Man eating a pizza. So swapping his hands and other parts, not too difficult. They will loosen up over time, but hopefully it should be decent enough for you. But just remember, as I said before, be very careful with this coffee mug hand because you might end up breaking it off. That's going to be a bit sad if that does happen. If you want to put the clothes back on him and dress him up again, then yeah, just do the reverse, take the feet off and then take the hands off and then put the jacket on, put the pants on and then put the uh, parts back on. And there you go. Got Bomb Spider-Man again. So to round it up, I think this figure does look pretty good. Whether you have him in Peter Bum Parker mode or in Spider-Man mode, I think both kind of looks look quite good as a figure. That's nothing new to my fix. I think they're quite good at producing visually pleasing figures out there. Mine are the sort of small paint issues between the blues that I mentioned. Wasn't that obvious in the video, but it definitely is in, in, in hand. But for me, it's the QC issues. So I demonstrated the elbow and I demonstrated the shoulder as well. Those aren't minor issues for me, especially in this figure. And they're kind of growing as well. Just reading other people's comments and kind of posts on Reddit as well, that this is something that's growing for a lot of people that the issues are getting worse or not addressed. And the figure prices are also creeping up as well. So I'm hoping Mafix Medicom Toys can just address those issues, improve those particular joint issues and just, yeah, make much better figures later on. They've got a solid lineup coming out. You know, their figures are good, don't get me wrong. It's just those QC issues in the long run can or you know, make a big difference overall. So hopefully they can address those, especially for say the Black Suit Superman and Ben Riley Spider-Man coming out soon, because I really, really am looking forward to those figures. But I do like the way this figure does look. And if you're kind of lucky and you don't have any issues with this figure, you, you've got no joint problems, nothing loose or anything like that, then yeah, you know, you've hit the jackpot and you've got a pretty solid figure on your hands. Or if you can get this on sale, might not be possible, but if you can get it on sale, then again, that's a pretty good solid get for you. But I'm still looking forward to the other stuff, like I said. Thanks anyway for swinging by to check out this video. I hope you check out my channel for more of action figures and figures and other merchandise in my collection. Stay safe wherever you are, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.